As the postseason approaches, Rowan women's soccer team boasts an unbeaten record in conference play. Closing in on their radar are the New Jersey Athletic Conference playoffs, proving grounds the profs are no stranger to. Last year, Roman squad, which featured a much older locker room, finished as runners-up, losing in the championship via penalty kicks. Among the veteran leaders was keeper Bristol Pizzuto. The backbone of that 15-win team, she took the freshman backup, Calista Burke, under her wing, as they both knew that the torch would be passed down to her for the 2022 season. Now, Calista Burke is the prof's commander in net, hoping to take this young, new team one step further than last year and capture an NJAC title. I love training with Bristol. Uh, we always hyped each other up during practice, and um, she always was like a big sister to me, like always led me through things and was there to help me and talk to me and stuff. Throughout last season, it was nice to watch things a little bit and like take a step back and just kind of see from like the sidelines of like how the game is played here and things like that and just more prepare myself. So I was really able to like oversee everything last year and I knew what, what was going to happen this year. It definitely was a challenge um, filling some pretty big shoes, but um, I think I've really stepped up like my leadership game and I know I'm just a sophomore, but I really tried to lead the team from the back and work my hardest during preseason and come out on fire this year. Yes great desire, her work rate's fantastic. We just had a fifth year senior ahead of her um, who was very dynamic goalkeeper, has been through the trenches. Um, so last year I think Callista worked extremely hard, pushed uh, Bristol a, a whole lot and you know we kind of knew this year she would be ready to go. She was ready to go, she would always say I'm ready, I'm working hard throughout the summertime. Um, but, you know, kind of separated herself because of her work rate and her desire to win, and that's, that's a huge thing. And she's just been, she's been really good for us so far. Last year I played a bunch with Bristol and we were super close and I trusted her because she had been here for a while and she was such like a big part of the team. Even last year, like there were games where Calista had to play and I trusted her. Like I had always trusted Calista, even last year, and this year like I was so excited for her to like finally be able to step up in that position. We didn't have trust in each other, we wouldn't be able to play properly. <laughs> she's been like great. She really stepped up in that. She's still trying to find her voice, but she really has stepped up. Yeah, I definitely think Bristol was like a little more outspoken and obviously Calista had to step up as a sophomore, so she's already like an underclassman. And I think she was like pretty hesitant at first to find her voice, but I feel like now that we're a few games in, she's definitely found it. And um, yeah, she's been like a natural leader for us on the field. I don't know if it's a matter of replacing somebody or stepping into the role. I just think, you know, she was ready and prepared to, to play this year. You know, I think she learned a ton last year from Bristol just because of the aspect that she's, she was in her fifth year, she's played, you know, she was a collegiate goalkeeper for that long. So she kind of learned a lot from her. And when, when you get in that role, it seems like, yeah, all right, listen, I, I paid my dues last year, this year I'm ready to go. And um, you know, it's, it's something where we ask a lot of our young players. Sometimes you're not ready to get in there yet. Sometimes, you know, there is, you know, somebody who's, you know, a little bit more experienced, learn off of that. And I think she, she took that and ran. And, you know, you can see she looks like an experienced goalkeeper out there this year. I definitely got way more confident as, like, I kept playing games. Like, the first game I was really, really nervous and kind of just, like, I haven't necessarily played, like, competitively since, like, my senior year of high school. So just kind of getting set in again, getting more comfortable, trusting my back line. Everything has just gotten progressively better, which has upped my performance as well. She was definitely a lot more quiet, and um, me and Emma as being defenders, like we definitely look for that guidance a lot from our goalie. Um, so not, not having a ton of guidance at first was definitely a little more difficult, but now she's been speaking up a lot more and being like way more directional and stuff, so that's been awesome. The more, the more we play together, I like trust her even more, and like she really is like talking more and talking to us and everyone else on the field too, not just defense. Cohesiveness and chemistry are what separates the great teams from the good teams. A grouping of talent is just that. It's not always a team. Working together, making adjustments, playing not just with one another, but for one another, is what Scott Leacutt and his team are always working to produce on the pitch. The profs have been unstoppable this season when all 11 are operating as one. 
but this is the result of constant dialogue and communication emitting most importantly from the goalie. Having good communication with our goalie is very important because there's a lot of balls where like you don't know if she's going to get it or you don't you don't know if you should get it. Being able to communicate open with her, openly with her about that is important. She's honestly stepped up on her own. Like I've said, make sure you're talking to us. Like, yeah, I don't care if you yell at me as long as you're talking. And she's she really is finding her voice more and more through each game and getting more comfortable in that leadership position because she does see the whole field and she needs to be talking to everyone. The goalie can see the whole field and sometimes she can see stuff positioning wise that you can't see. Her being able to direct us where to go and like let us know what she's able to see is really helpful. Um, I think that I'm still getting used to how I should talk to my teammates and like how what they understand, like what language to use to them that will click in their brains. But I think I'm getting better. I need to conduct from the back, be really loud lead. Um, but as a team unit, we just need to keep our chemistry and work together. Perhaps the most contrasting difference between the women's team this year and last year's is the age. The current iteration is much younger than ever before, showcasing only two seniors and no juniors. This definitely provided an adjustment period, but the profs have taken it in stride and are not worried about the lack of collegiate experience on their roster. Last year was a little different where we had three four-year players in the back. This year we have one returning back, that was Emma, and she's playing with you know three different new people this year. So the adjustment with all of them is going to take a little bit of time. You know, we're starting to gel a little bit each time. She's got to always be a little bit more vocal and a little bit more confident in what she's saying to them. But overall, you know, I think for her it's, you know, she wants to win and she's going to do anything she can to help the team win and that's, you know, a lot of that is communication and she's been, she's been really good so far. I think it's nice that we're all young, they're all very coachable, so they'll listen and like we're able to make changes. Nothing's really set in stone as it was last year. You're also looking at a roster that only has two seniors, no juniors, and the rest are freshmen and sophomores. So there's times that we have, you know, seven freshmen on the field. The seasoned veterans are a little bit different than younger players, and you know we're still we're still getting to know each other. I'm starting to understand their mentality a little bit more and see, you know, what how far you can push them. You can be a little bit tougher with an older team because they know you. You know, they know what the expectations are. Sometimes the younger players don't know what the expectations are. We're trying to build off of that and make sure that they understand, hey, how this program's run and how, how we do things. It's nice to see how they've come, come along. It is easy to lead when you get winning results, something that Calista Burke and the profs have no shortage of. But a great leader has the support of their team no matter what, and this comes from relationships both on and off the field. Calista has forged strong bonds with her teammates and coaches, something that has been a huge help on the pitch. Calista's a really good teammate. She's always going to be there for you on and off the field. She gives really good advice. She's a good friend. She has your back. She's really fun to be around, really funny. She keeps things lighthearted, which I like. I don't like when things get like super serious. I'd rather like take a more like lighthearted approach. And she's really helpful with picking you up if you feel down and just like bringing a good attitude every day. She's hilarious. She's one of the funniest people I've ever met. And she really does like do a great job like bringing our team together. Like she's friends with everyone on the team, which is awesome. She's just a really good person. She's very loud. She's very loud off the field and I think it's finally coming together on the field and she's finding her voice on the field and getting more comfortable. She's probably the quirkiest person I've ever met in my entire life. She is, you know, I'll see her, and we'll walk into a meeting and everybody's quiet and she'll be like, Coach Scott, how you doing today? Just personality wise, she's, like I said, a little bit crazy at times, but it's also one of those personalities kind of people flock to. You never know what's going to come out of her mouth, but it's never a bad thing. So I'm always, what's next? What's next? Yeah, she's yeah. just got a, got a really strong personality and a really quirky personality, but it, it attracts a lot of people towards her because she's, you know, a good person and a good student and a good athlete. So close they could taste it. When the profs boarded the bus to come back from Trenton after their devastating NJAC championship loss last year, there was only one thing on Calista Burke's mind, next November. Now, as the team's keeper, she's fighting to get them back, and this time, over the hump. A goal for this season is definitely to win the NJAC. I think we came so close last year, we really could have the potential to win it this year, and that's definitely been a big goal. I trust her more than anything because I know she'll make that save. 
and that's huge in the NJAC because we're going to be playing some really good teams this year and I really do trust Glissa and I think she's going to be a huge part of this team because she already is. Calissa is going to be a huge factor if we win the NJAC or not. The goalie is like one of the most important people on the field and she saves our butts a lot of the time and she, she has our back and she covers us. She saves us from bad situations that we get ourselves into. She's going to be huge for the upcoming season in the NJAC. She never really takes time off and you can see during a training session she's out there working. She wants to be the best she can be and that's where the other people look at her and say, okay, you know, if she's working that hard I can step that up and take this to another level. So she, she's doing exactly what she needs to do right now. She just needs to amp communication up a little bit and understand the position a little bit more but it takes time and we're looking forward to it. Like I'll always have my teammates back through, through it all throughout wins or losses and I'm a team player and I'm here to stay for a little bit.